How the Welfare Reform Act could affect you. The Welfare Reform Act means that the government are going to cap the total amount of benefits that a single person or family is entitled to. In April 2013, when the benefit cap comes into effect, the most you could receive is £500 per week as a family or £350 per week if you live alone. This cap is based on the national average earnings for a working household in the UK. The cap is targeted at out-of-work families, regardless of their ability to work. And if you have a large family or live in an expensive area, you are more likely to be affected. There are some exclusions, such as people on disability living allowance and working tax credits, so do check with your benefits office. The Department for Work and Pensions estimates that affected households will lose an average of £83 a week, nearly £4,500 per year, with 17% of those affected losing more than £150 a week. Here are the benefits which will be included in the cap. Carers allowance, employment and support allowance, except those in a support group, child benefit, child tax credit, job seekers allowance, income support, housing benefit, maternity allowance, widowed allowances and widow's pension, bereavement allowance, guardian's allowance, severe disability allowance, incapacity benefit. As from October 2013, all of your means-tested benefits, including housing benefit, income support, tax credits, income-related support, employment and support allowance, and income-related job seekers allowance, will all be paid directly to you in a single monthly payment, called the Universal Credit. This means you will need a bank account, if you don't already have one, to start planning and budgeting your outgoings, and set up direct debits for things such as your housing rent and bills. It is important to remember paying the rent to your landlord should be a priority, as failure to do so could result in eviction. Pensioners and some vulnerable people will continue to see their housing costs paid straight to their landlord. Any household deemed to have more bedrooms than they require will lose a proportion of their housing benefit. If you have just one spare room, you will lose around £12 a week. If you have two or more spare rooms, then you will lose around £22 a week. This only applies to tenants of working age, that's those below pension age. And there are other factors to be aware of too. For example, if you or your partner is registered as disabled and need a non-resident overnight carer, you are allowed an extra room. Children under the age of 16 who are of the same sex are expected to share rooms. And children under the age of 10, regardless of gender, are also expected to share a room. Your landlord will support its tenants to downsize, which will in turn free up badly needed family-sized homes for other residents. If you are worried or concerned about the Welfare Reform Act and how it will affect you, get in touch with your landlord now.